Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Today I want to talk about life as a reflection of what is going on inside of you. And I mean, if you're into the kind of stuff that I share, then I'm sure that you will have seen this already. But I hope what I'm going to be sharing today or some of the examples will give you will be a bit fresh and might help you see it in a deeper way. So I'm going to sort of speak a little bit about Esther and um, Jerry Hicks and Abraham Hicks um, because I think they explain it so beautifully. So we all have, we all vibrate at a certain energy and we have an energy field which they call the vortex. And in this energy field you have been putting things ever since you had an energy field. <laughs> You've been putting all the beliefs, the things that you think can happen and should happen that aren't happening. You've been putting in what you think is right and what you think is wrong. You've been putting in what you think is good and what you think is bad. You've been putting in, you know, behaviours, how you think people should behave and how they shouldn't behave. You have this energetic sort of suitcase, but it's not a suitcase, that's not really the right um, thing, but this energetic body around you that is full of everything that you put into it. Now, none of the things in there ever completely go away, but you can activate them and deactivate them by how you focus. So the more you focus on something and the more you are excited and aligned to it, the more likely you are to see it showing up in your life. The more you focus on it and the more upset and unhappy about it you are, the more you're likely to see that showing up in your daily life. So it doesn't really matter what you focus on, but the more energetically you're charged with it, be it positive or negative, it doesn't matter, the more likely it is to show up in your environment. And I was actually walking with a very dear friend of mine today, and um, we were talking about Facebook, and she was saying how they, she gets all these posts about um, conspiracy theories and people that are angry with the government and things like that, and she wished she didn't get them there anymore. And I said to her, which sounds a little big-headed, so please forgive me for that, <laughs> that I don't get those things. That on my Facebook feed, it's full of people being positive and caring and loving. But I did share that occasionally I do get a post that isn't in alignment with where I, where I would like to see my life. But I just flick past it. I don't focus, I don't attach to it, I don't read it, I don't like it, I don't comment on it, I don't share it, I don't interact with it at all, I simply flick past it. And I wanted to share that with you because that's what it's like about the things in our energy fields. Because we have all of this stuff. I have conspiracy theories, I have people that are angry with the government. It's all there, I'm aware of it, it's in my energy field. But I just don't give it attention. I instead would like to focus on love and kindness and um, a way of being that gives me joy and happiness, um, connectedness, supporting. Um, all of these wonderful things are what I want in my life. So they are what I give focus to. They're, they're the things that I like, that I comment on, that I share, that I interact with. And the other things that for me pull me out of alignment that I don't want to have in my world, I simply flick past. And the same goes for friendships and relationships. Um, if I can feel that somebody's particularly angry about a certain topic, I just choose not to speak to them. Um, I don't do it in a nasty way. I still love them. I still care about them deeply. But until they've simmered down and sorted it out, I would rather focus on something else. <laughs> and, and it's not about avoiding them. Um, I don't avoid them. I don't try not to sort of speak to them. I just choose to focus somewhere else until they are in a different space and then I'm more than happy to interact with them again. Um, and actually, I suppose I have been quite firm with some of my very nearest and dearest um, family when I will actually say I won't talk about that because it's not something that I want to focus on or pull apart or interact with and bring into my energy field. So I'm sharing this with you because you direct what you experience in life. You have so much in your vortex, in your energy field, but you have the choice of what you bring out and what you, what you give focus to and what you don't. And it doesn't matter what, you know, how you feel about anything in your energy field. The more you focus on it, the more emotion you have charged around it, 
the more it is going to show up and be in your reality. Um, another example I have about this was when I lived in Botswana. So I was a single mother. I had two very young kids that then grew up to be much older, <laughs> but in the beginning they were very young. I lived there alone with my children and um, it was a time when crime was it wasn't massive, but it was enough. People did get burgled on either side of me and actually all along the river I lived on. Um, we also went through a major drought and um, power outages and all sorts of things. But because I decided not to buy into the fear and because I decided to focus on having water, um, I was incredibly blessed. Um, we only had one theft and it was from a pie, a frozen pie, that was in a freezer that was outside the house. Um, and I think I can live with someone stealing a pie, a frozen pie, from my freezer. If they needed a frozen pie, I think they're more than welcome to have the frozen pie. Um, and as far as the water went, we never ran out of water, even though we had a four-year drought and everyone around us had to bring water in so that they could drink, wash, bathe and everything else. We, we never ran out of water, we never had to do that. And in regards to the power, um, they decided to do a six o'clock sort of power out thing throughout the capital. And I was really blessed because we had, we just happened to have three phase power. So our power was never cut on that regular basis. We did have power cuts from time to time and they were quite regular, but they weren't regular as in every single day at six o'clock, the power would be cut. And all you'd be able to do is run a kettle if you were lucky. Um, for us, yeah, we, we were exempt from that. And I believe that that was because I chose to focus on what we did have, on the positives, rather than get sucked into the negatives and the things that weren't working. So I hope that this has in some way inspired you to see how you can create your own reality just by focusing on what you want in your reality rather on the things that you don't want. And by choosing who you interact with, the conversations you have, the things you read and what you do. I've really enjoyed sharing this with you. If you've enjoyed it, I, I do. I really value your likes, your comments and your sharings. You help me to bring hopefully a little bit of light into the world. Um, if you want to access any of my other resources, my courses, um, or if you fancy doing some coaching with me, you can find information for all of that on my website. Um, and I will see you next week. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.